Yimblaho, which now believes his UFC 282 title fight against Megamed Ankalaev was scored correctly. Let me reiterate something. First, I honestly don't think the fight was terrible at all. Second, I don't feel I've won but neither that I lost. A draw was fair. End result, one dude cried and talked about his supposed injuries, another dude showed that honor can be and still is upheld in this game. I'm glad the fans see it and appreciate it for what it is. Roll Roses Jr. The youngest fighter to compete in the UFC is ready for Aljamain Sterling. I don't know what the plan is, but I hope they're trying to fast track me because I'm ready. Like I said, if they offer me a fight for the UFC belt right now, I can not only go out there and win, but I can also finish whoever has the belt, which right now is Aljamain Sterling. That's why my pro career, that's what I'm saying, I didn't take it slowly. I fought months back to back so I could be here. But if I knew that I wasn't on the level, if I didn't have nothing to offer to the table, I would have fought every for months, that way I could improve. The reason I'm fighting so actively, including the Dana White Contender Series not that long ago, I decided to make my UFC debut already because I'm ready for it all. If I knew I wasn't on that level and I couldn't hang with these fools, I'm not even looking at anybody, all I see is gold. If I know that I can't be champion, I would slow down a little bit, but I know I can be champion right now if I was to fight for the belt right now. This is why I'm taking my career so quick, because I know I have everything to win that belt right now. Bryce Mitchell said about what the flu left him a shell of himself on fight night. Hey, I just want to let y'all know I'm feeling just fine. I'm, I'm home and uh, I want to thank y'all for all the love and support. And I definitely got to let you know that that really wasn't me out there. You know, I had the flu the week before. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd just tough it out. And, and I didn't feel good at all in there. That wasn't myself. And I trained a lot harder and could have performed a lot better. But, you know, I went in there, you know, with stuff hurting and, and not up to 100%. Like I said, I had the flu. And I wish I wouldn't even took the fight. But uh, I didn't know it would mess me up that bad, so I thought I'd be able to hang in there for all three rounds because that's, you know, what I trained for. I trained for my cardio to be there the whole time, and it wasn't even there one bit of the time, so uh, I'll come back stronger. I just hate going out on that one, you know, like that, but I will be better. I'll be all right. Thank you all. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson about possibility of fighting Leon Edwards because of Kamaru Usman's hand injury. Well, right now I'm on a six months, uh, six month um, suspension, medical suspension because of my hand. Um, but you know, there's a few names thrown at me. George Masvidal, obviously, Michelle Pajera was also thrown at me again. I'm still going for the title. Um, I know there's going to be some heavy wrestlers. So the guys ranked above me right now are some heavy, heavy wrestlers. But uh, everybody wants to see me fight a stand-up fight, which I don't mind at all. So any one of those guys would be awesome. George Masvidal, Michelle Pajeda, um, you know, people are in talks of me fighting Leon Edwards again. I know Kamaru Usman is having hand surgery. I know they want to fight somebody in March, and they're looking at George Masvidal. But, um, you know, he's a stand-up fighter, which kind of inspires me a little bit because you know the the our division is so heavily wrestler you know heavy wrestlers and leon edwards is a striker and he's champ so um i think any one of those guys would be awesome michael bisping about the perfect matchup for conor mcgregor conor's got all the money in the world but he wants that so you have to respect that about him and coming back against michael chandler if he gets the job done well it wouldn't be crazy to think about a title fight next it really wouldn't. Chandler's still one of the top dogs. If he beats him, if he connects, if he gets a knockout, my God, he's in a title fight next. Valentina Shevchenko considers to names for her next fight. I would consider to names. It's Alexa Grasso and Fiorit. Shevchenko told MMA Junkie on the World MMA Awards red carpet. These are two challengers that are extremely good and ready for this title test. I think any of them. The other option out there for Shevchenko is a trilogy bout with featherweight and bantamweight champion Amanda Nunes, who holds two wins over her. Won by split decision at UFC 215, which Shevchenko thought she won. 
There is interest always, and I'm actually ready for that because it's a fight that makes sense, Shevchenko said of a Noons trilogy. But yeah, let's see how everything plays out because I think any bright names, any super fights would be good. Super fights could also mean challengers coming for Shevchenko's title as strawweight champion Zhang Wiley said she'd love to face the bullet, who's also open for that challenge. Definitely it's one of the options that can happen, Shevchenko said. I saw her recent fights. She got stronger, more tactical, but if a fight is gonna happen, it's not gonna help her. Nick Diaz targets Israel Adesanya for his comeback. You can see me back on top in 2023. I'm making a comeback, Diaz said, while attending Crazy Horse 3 in Las Vegas to watch UFC 282. I'm going to be quicker than ever, stronger than ever, better than ever. I'm just gonna be a whole new me. Whoever is on top at the time I want, preferably Israel Adesanya, if he gets his title back. It's official Glover takes Sara and Jamhul Hill UFC 283 January in Brazil. Hello guys, I'm here telling you how excited I am to go to Rio de Janeiro. It's time. I'm ready. I got the call. January 24th, fight against Jamal Hill. 12 years ago when I started this, Grand Rapids, Michigan, I promised y'all I was going to make us a world champion. January 21st, I delivered on that promise. This is incredible, fighting uh, Rio, the city that I lived there for, for a while. I trained over there, I fought there a couple times. It was an amazing vibe. Go it on the line. Y'all know what time it is. Brazil, I'm coming. I'm very excited for that. Then I'm gonna get that belt back. Former UFC women's bantamweight champion Juliana Pena believes a trilogy with Amanda Nunes has to be next. The champ Amanda doesn't have a fight, and former champ soon to be a new champ does not have a fight, so I feel like that's the only fight to make peace stated on the World MMA Awards red carpet. That's the only fight that makes sense for me, and that's the only fight I see in my future. For me, there could be no other answer. They're making Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno for for Pete's sake. I finished her the first time. I ran out of time the second time and I allowed her that opportunity to make those adjustments and to go back and change those things in that camp in the rematch. I absolutely feel like the kosher thing to do would be to allow me to make the same adjustments. Aljamain Sterling wants to test Roll Roses Jr. against Henry Chihudo. Roll Roses Jr. insists he's ready to compete for bantamweight gold against Aljamain Sterling. Following his UFC 280 to submission debut triumph, Aljamain Sterling said, They should make that fight next. I really think that Roses will F him up. I heard Chiyudo's out and Roses is in. 